Thank you for coming, soldiers. I apologize for the lack of notice. I've called you for a special operation. You'll be liberating Galleon hostages. I'm issuing this order on my own authority. I haven't reported it. I'll bear the risk. You don't have army clearance? Why not report it, Captain? There will be no questions. You need only perform the mission as directed. The enemy are what's left of the Thousand Camp. They're holed up in a house on the outskirts of the city. Your objectives are to return all hostages and capture or eliminate all Imperials. <sighs> the enemy is led by a man named Geld. Georgios Geld. He tortured and murdered Galleons in the First European War. He warrants no pity. Georgius Geld? Bell, is this about... Prepare for deployment immediately. You are dismissed. The captain didn't seem like her usual self. It was almost scary. No surprise there. She's been living the last 20 years to get revenge on Geld. What? Revenge for what? Back in EW1, she and I were called into the militia, just like you kids now. She and a buddy of mine, Frederick, were in the same squad and fell for each other hard. But the enemy got Frederick one day. Word is, the enemy captain tortured him to death. That enemy captain was Georgios Geld. When the war ended, she stayed on. My guess is, it was just for a chance of revenge. That's terrible. I had no idea. So, this is Georgios Geld. Taking civilian prisoners violates treaty law, does it not? Please, forgive me. We, we just wanted to see our homes again, that's all. I'd have released the hostages along the way. It's true, Valkyra strike me down. Silence! Who'd believe the words of scum like you? I've no doubt you'd slaughter them all. Your evil won't go unpunished. You are hereby sentenced to death by firing squad. But, Captain Verat, Prisoners of war have a right to a formal trial. You can't just... I can and will. I'll kill him myself if I have to. I'll take full responsibility. If you do this, you'll be discharged from the militia, Captain. And what of it? I've lived for the day I end this man's life. It's all I can do for Frederick now. There's nothing else left. Don't do this, L. Marco. Why? Why stop me? This snake of a man killed Frederick. He butchered our friend. Frederick died horribly, tortured, broken. Doesn't that make you angry? Of course it does, L. I could wring the rat bastard's neck myself. But do you think Frederick would want that? Think he'd want you to bloody your hands? Back then, us three were always talking about how we'd build a peaceful Gallia. Frederick's gone, but I know he'd still want that, even now. Marco! You didn't stick around the Force this long just to take revenge, Elle. You stayed for a chance to give yourself this new beginning. <laughs> don't, don't, don't cry, El. If you'll have me, I, I'll watch over you forever. Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> Finally back in friendly territory again. That could have ended exceptionally badly. Thank goodness the Gallians are weak. Halt! Identify yourself! Captain Georgius Geld. I was returned as part of a prisoner exchange. So you're Geld, are you? I hear you took non-Darkson civilians as hostages. That was after serving time for abuse of captives in the First European War, correct? Y yeah, yes. But that was a long time ago, and... Lord Commander Maximilian is a strict man on protocol. You've roused quite a fire in him. You're to be court-martialed forthwith. Brace yourself for the worst, Captain. No, but... but I... I... Take him away. Stop! No! Let me go! No! I... I don't want to die! This can't really... I don't want to die! Largo, has everything I've done up to now been a mistake? Ever since Frederick was killed, I've thought of little else other than avenging his death. But, it's like you said, killing that man won't bring Frederick back. So we can't get Frederick back, but we're still gonna have to live our lives. Hmm? Know what I think? We've got to live our lives the best we possibly can. You ask me, part of that means bringing peace back to Gallia. That's what I think he'd want. I know! How about we start a vegetable garden? Vegetables taste good, look good, and they're good for you. We're gonna make Gallia one big farm. <laughs> What? <laughs> What's so funny? I just pictured Gallia as this giant pumpkin patch. It's too funny. Why ain't laughing? <sighs> hmm? I know you've always been watching my back for me. That's the only reason I've made it this far. Largo, thank you. Oh, uh, sure. Look at this. Just what's going on here? Hey, we're just... that is, uh... <clears throat> well, well, Largo. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed what? That's quite enough. The hostages were all recovered safely. Mostly thanks to your squad's efforts. Your orders are to return to the capital as soon as possible. That's all. Dismissed. Captain! Captain. Everybody gather round. I've got our orders. The target is on Gallia's northern coast. The enemy's entrenched along the shore flanking the industrial region up north. Squad 7 has been given one of their camps at Marbury to suppress. Hmm. Looking at the map, seems there's nothing there but big cliffs and open sand. As you approach the cliffs, the beach slopes up steeply. Their camp is at the top. The path leading up there is narrow, meaning infantry will have to take the lead here. That said, they've lined the cliffside with gunnery to combat incoming foot soldiers. You telling us to dodge bullets running across an open beach with nothing for cover? Boss, I may be catty, but I ain't got nine lives here. Stop your complaining. We're soldiers, Rosie. Ain't no such thing as a safe mission. Dangerous or not, it's our job to get the job done as best we can. You don't gotta... I know that, all right? Right. 
If we just charge in, you'll be facing a hailstorm of bullets. Welkin, any more brilliant ideas for another of your crazy plans? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't have any silver bullets for this one. What we need is some way to blind the enemy while we advance. A way to... blind them. Ugh, this is just great. Come on, let's stay positive about this. Tomorrow's the Feast of All Spirits. Combat on the feast, huh? We sure got some kind of luck, don't we? Well, getting down about it now won't help anything. Let's just do what we can. If we could... Hmm. They may not need nine lives. Somebody said tomorrow's the feast, right? I forgot all about it this year. Hey now! Do you guys even know the reason for this holiday? Reason? It's the day you give presents to the guy you like, ain't it? Yes, but no. The Feast of All Spirits is the day all the spirits in Galia share their love. They say the practice of giving gifts to those you love came from that belief. Back in the day, people gave presents to everyone important to them, not just lovers. Bingo! Give the man a prize! For a big grizzly bear, you sure know your stuff. How gracious of you to say. <laughs> Though I like to think I'm more of a teddy bear. Largo, Rosie, may I have a moment? Sure. I'm surprised to see you in the lounge. What's up? Would you accept these gifts? This is... from before. These dolls are darks and good luck charms. I wanted to give them to you and Rosie. Why to us? I... I've always wanted to be your friend, from the first day. We may have had our share of disagreements, but you've helped me more than I can say. I'd like to use the feast as an opportunity to grow a little closer to both of you. I see. You know... C and Fausen gave me a lot to think about. Plus, I... you know... I've been wanting to talk to you for a while now, too. For being so young, you got some perspective. Still a little bullheaded, though. Thanks for the lucky charm. And for coming out here, Isara. Largo... thank you so much. I... I can't take it. Rosie, you ain't a kid here. Quit being so damn stubborn already. You shut it! I just... Look, I got no need for presents from dark hairs, okay? I understand. I'm sorry. I'll be on my way now. Yeah, I think I'm done, too. Look, I know you've been wanting to apologize. Just out and say it already, dammit. Look, shut up! I know, okay? I know, but I... I can't just change overnight. I'm not that big a person. <laughs> it's just too open. We need some kind of plan. Welkin! Gold! What happened to you? You're covered in dirt, Alicia. Yeah. <laughs> Funny story about that. Anyway, I've got something I want to show you. Come see. Look real close at my hands.
That's... You found a modeled vagabond. They're migratory butterflies, but they shouldn't be in Galia at this time of year. It's pretty rare, then? They call it a vagabond because it never stays in one place. They're hard to find. I've tried to hunt one down more than once before, but I never had any luck. Then you like it? Absolutely. Thank you, Alicia. But you've still got to tell me how you found it. I I'm amazed. Me and Hans caught it. My egg. You and Hans? Wait, is all that dirt? <laughs> I've never been bug hunting before. I got a little mud plastered. I mean, tomorrow's the Feast of All Spirits. I wanted to get you something you'd like. I brainstormed on what you might like best, and this is what I finally came up with. Wow. Thank you. Not the most romantic gift ever, but it seemed right for you. You went to all that trouble for me? Thank you, Alicia. I'm happy I got to see such a rare specimen, but I'm even happier at the sentiment. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Um, Welkin? They say if you give a present to the guy you like on the feast, things will go well for you. I hope things go well for the two of us. I, I mean... Huh? I... Me too. Isara, I don't think Rosie really meant to hurt you. No, I... I know that, Mr. Zaka. But I do wonder if dreams of a future in which we're all equal will only bring pain. No, <laughs> don't get impatient on me. Getting close to somebody takes time, Isara. People don't just change overnight. That said, nothing in this world doesn't change. Yes, I know. Even if slowly, change will happen. Exactly. So don't let it get you down. She's just worked up over tomorrow's operation. Tomorrow's op? Oh, that's right! I need to speak with Welks about the plan. What plan? You come up with a solution for those guns? If we modify something I've been developing, it may provide our ground troops protection. I'll go speak with Welks about it now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Hey, Isara. And she's gone. Those two really are siblings. They get into something and they're in their own world. Hey, boss. We, uh, got a plan today? Well, Isara and I came up with a little something last night. Speaking of, Isara still isn't here, is she? I apologize for being late. Welks, it's done! You finished in time. Yes, these smoke rounds should help keep our foot soldiers safe from fire. Smoke rounds? A new type of tank cannon rounds. They don't do any damage, but they create a smoke screen. If we run through those, we'll be able to move without being sighted. Can you just finish them now? <laughs> so you didn't sleep at all last night, huh? The Sevens are like my family. Alicia, Rosie, Largo, Mr. Zaka, Welks, little Hans, too. I don't want... None of you can die. 
If those smoke screens can protect you even a little, it'll be well worth it. Isara, you... Nice going, kiddo. With these things, we'll be practically invisible. Yeah, this battle just got a lot less scary. Thanks, Isara. All right, let's get ready. Squad 7, move out! Isara. Hi, Rosie. How can I help you? Well, you have already. You mean the doll I made? I didn't know you kept it. You said it was a protective charm, didn't you? I still owe you one from the feast, so... Anything you want, just name it. Let me think... You know what? I'd like to hear you sing, Rosie. Huh? You want me to sing? Yes. You told me before that you always enjoyed it. I'd really love to hear you. I bet you're great. Okay, then. It's a promise. Isara. Down! No. Isara! Don't you die on me, Asara! I still haven't even had the chance to say thank you yet. Sure you did. Now we're friends. Sara. No. Sorry. Your dream. I wanted. I so wanted. To make it real. Just for you, Wilkes. My dream? What do you mean? That you wanted to... to fly. Remember? You wanted... wings... so we could... see the... the sky together. real soonies, I promise. Isara, the dreams you left, it's up to us to build them. Hey, kid. I'd like to sing for you, if that's okay. I mean, after all, a promise is a promise, right? So listen up. This is yours. You stood, always smiling, ever quiet, ever tender. And I, a lost child, always frightened, I remember. 
that you came and found me blinded by unshed tears. The tears we cry are echoes that tell. Let's begin the strategy meeting. First off, I need to ask. Lieutenant, how is Squad 7's morale? It's been three weeks since we lost Isara. We're all still in shock, Captain. Personally, it still doesn't seem real to me. I can't believe she's really gone. I see. Nevertheless, you have new orders. I sent in a request to General Damon to allow this op, and received full clearance. The Galleon Militia's next task is to liberate a small border town called Brule. The regiment will surround the area while your squad enters and secures the plaza. Any questions, Lieutenant? No, Captain. I'm taking temporary personal leave, but I wish you the best of luck out there. Also, I'd like to introduce the new tank pilot assigned to the Edelweiss. I'll do the best I can, Welkin. Chris. He recently volunteered to be a pilot. I'm hereby assigning him to Squad 7. Isara inherited the Edelweiss from her father. I'd like to take over where she left off. I'm still nowhere near as skilled as she was, but I'll do my very best. Thank you, Kreese. That concludes our meeting. I look forward to good news from Brule. Dismiss. Thousand was lost, and Gregor with it, in a warrior's death. What comes next, Maximilian? Things aren't looking very good these days. The Empire claimed the earliest victories, and most of Gallia with them. Their struggles since have bested the detachments holding each location. Meaning, we reconcentrate our forces? Yes. Send word to gather our armies on the Nagyar Plain. Silvaria, the time has come to show these roofs your power. Sir, by my Valkyrian blood, I swear the Gallian forces will bow before you. <laughs> I believe it. They won't last long once you get serious. And that's good news for me and the prospects for Firald's reinstatement. Once we conquer Gallia, you shall have independence for your homeland, Jaeger. But until then, you have no country of your own. You shall serve us with your very life. I'm well aware, Your Grace. 
The fate of the Empire is no concern of mine. But Maximilian, you will be victorious. It's the only reason I'm fighting this war. We're back. Back to where it all started. It's been five months since we left Brule. Now, all but one of us is back to make this home again. Captain Verat said she specifically requested this operation from General Damon. She said that? Yes. You know how she feels about him, but she begged him to give us Brule. She wanted us to remember why we're fighting, to help us get past Isara's death. <sighs> For right now, let's stop thinking and just move forward. Let's take back our... take back Isara's home. Back again. I had to return one more time. The area we saw last time. No matter what I try, the door won't open anymore. What was written on those walls turns all of Europa's history on its head. It's staggering. It began, Welcome, Sister Valkyria. Did they hide the truth from all but their own? The door won't let me in. Given what's on the walls, Maybe it opens only for the Valkyrie. Maximilian got through, but he had Salvaria with him. She must have opened it for him. But wait. The door was closed when we first arrived. Then we... The one who opened it was... Well, that's it, Welkin. No sign of the enemy here, either. I searched all over. Looks like they've cleared out of Brule. That's good. We've finally recovered possession of our old homestead. Yeah. But if Isara saw it as it is now, I think she'd feel sad. I mean, look at it. Empty of all the people who lived here, the mill just barely standing. Look at that! Welkin? What is it? What do you see? Look! A lion's paw! Uh, is it... the same one? Mm-hmm. It's the flower that you planted that day. When we'd first met each other. It took root and grew in this soil. And now it's flourishing. Mm-hmm. Remember what you said? That there's more going on in this world than just people killing people? There are new lives all around. New things being born, even in the middle of war. I was right. And if I let myself get depressed, well, Isara wouldn't want that. Once this war's over and we come home, we'll just have to rebuild it. We'll rebuild all of it. Every last building. Yes, we will. And we'll show Martha's little boy. We'll show him the town where he was born. Yeah. The liberation of Brule was a success. 
Excellent work, soldiers. Lieutenant Gunther, do you have anything further to report? Yes, Captain. Through this op, I... We found a new goal to strive towards. Very good. And Faldio, you're back from your leave. Feeling rested and ready? Uh, yes, Captain. I'm ready. Good. We're receiving reports of major shifts along the front lines. Imperial forces previously posted all over the country are gathering at one point. The Nagyar Plain in northeastern Gallia. Our forces are being directed there as well. Does that mean we're expecting a major clash at Nagyar, Captain? It's very probable. This battle is going to decide Gallia's fate one way or another. After a brief rest, the militia move out to Nagyar. I want all of you rested in the meantime. You're dismissed. So what you're saying is, the next battle is so critical, it could actually determine how the rest of the war goes. Yeah. Both for us and them. The opposing armies are assembling their forces at Nagyar. It'll be the biggest battle we've fought yet. The biggest battle of the war. That means more things we love will be destroyed. More people we care about will be taken away. There are some things we lose that never get returned. That's the world. Everything around us is in flux. The old Brul, the town we used to know, Isara. We've lost them forever. Welkin. But it's like you said, Alicia. We build new things as we lose the old. If we can win this battle at Nagyar, we can push the Empire all the way back to Northeast Gallia. If that happens, then victory will be right around the corner. <laughs> and once the war's over, the real work will start. We'll build a new mill plaza. In fact, we'll build a whole new town. Right. And I'll be there to help you. You know, it's funny. Whenever I talk to you, I feel like everything's going to be fine. Yeah? Well, you're the only reason I haven't completely lost it, Alicia. Really? Thank you, Welkin. Me too. I'm glad we were able to meet and work together. Welkin? What is it? Once this war is all over, I have... There's something I want to tell you. Anything. at Nagyar is almost upon us. Is there anything left to do beforehand? No, Captain. We've made due preparations. This will likely be the largest conflict you or I have seen. I want you rested and ready. Oh, by the way, did the Darksons who survived back in Fausen make it out all right? They should have. I told them all to evacuate to Rangris as soon as they could. Speaking of the Darkson, I hear the Empire's begun another wave of hunts. Oh. Darkson hunting? Well, I guess that's one way to get back the labor force they lost at Fausen. The report I read mentioned an enemy unit hunting Darksons by the border. I'm sending a squad to take care of it now. You all have earned a rest, though. Go catch up on your sleep and relax a while. You're dismissed. Captain Varat, would you let us do it? What? Please? Rosie! I'll second that, if we may, Captain. 
All right. I'll place Squad 7 in charge of this operation. The village in question has a large Darkson population. It's been raided time and again. Secure the village and its people's safety, and stop those hunters. Yes, Captain. We'll leave as soon as we can. Ugh. You live in this village, kid? Where's your family at? The Imperials who came to the village before. They killed my parents. That's rough. Why do they all... Why do people hate us? Are they gonna keep hating us forever? I'll tell you something. My town got hit by a hunt, too. Really? A whole bunch of Darksons live near me, see? And... They burned the whole place down. My mom and little brother died in the fire. After that, I started hating Darksons, too. Figured if it weren't for them, you know? But a good friend showed me I was all wrong. She was the first real Darkson friend I had. What's she like? How'd you become friends? She was real stubborn, but she was true. Kind and honest and strong to the core. But she and I were off fighting the Empire and she got killed. Oh. Building a world where Darksons and everybody else got along was always her big dream. I figure now it falls on me to make sure that happens. Do you know a way to get people not to hate us? If so, please, please tell me. I wish I did, kiddo. All I know is how to get things done my own way. Want to know my plan? When this war's over, I'm going to be a singer. A singer? Yeah. Songs sound the same to folks of all kinds. The feelings behind them get through. I'll keep singing until her dream comes true. That's my way of making her world happen. You should figure out your own way, kiddo. How I'd change the world? Well, I gotta get going. Take care, kid. You too. Thank you very much. Isara, I got something to report to you today. A while back, when we went to stop the hunts, I met a boy who'd lost his parents, right? Well, he sent me a letter. Said, once I got to sing again, he'd come listen to me. <laughs> Good taste for a little squirt, huh? And he says he wants to become a doctor. Says that's his way of changing the world. I'm not promising miracles, but... We'll try, bit by bit. You just watch. Take it easy, Asara. I'll come again soon. After wresting it from the Empire's control, Squad 7 left Bruel for Nagyar, the stage for this war's grandest battle. Even as they traveled, an increasing number of soldiers streamed into both camps. Both sides braced to feel the brunt of the other's army in the fight for all of Gallia. General, as I've said a hundred times now, I strongly recommend a change of tactics. With the disparity in numbers, it's lunacy to send the Gallian forces on an all-out attack. We'd stand better chances centered around our defensive holdings, fending off advances. 
The enemy have gathered in one place for us. We can't let this chance slip by. If we win this one battle, we'll be able to kick those imps out of Gallia for good. General, we lack the manpower to break through an enemy force that large. If we're short on soldiers, why aren't you out drafting more farmhands for us? Do you honestly plan to let our countrymen die needlessly out there? When attack, if not now, Varad, we will win this battle. We must. We'll throw everything Gallia's got at them. A few casualties are going to be inevitable. <sighs> if you've got time to sit there fretting, go light a fire under those yokels of yours. Understood. I will do my best. Sorry I'm late. We deploy him? We're still on standby. I'm figuring we'll get the order to move out a bit past noon. Gotcha! Is everybody ready to go? All set and waiting for the word, but it sure looks like the enemy's got us in numbers. They do. The invading front's nearly all here. This one's gonna be a major battle. I've made my peace with it and all, but... seeing them all lined up out there is... heavy. Guys, can I say something? Um... I grew up in an orphanage. I don't have a family, and I always thought I was alone. But Welkin showed me I was wrong. That I wasn't alone at all. Not anymore. The Sevens are... You guys are my family now. The squad's your family. Before a big battle like this, it's scary. I figure I feel just like all of you do. But when I think I'm here alongside my family, I feel strong enough to fight. Family, huh? My old folks are gone, and I got no siblings, but... I bet this is what it's like. Of course, any siblings of mine would have grown up a lot better acting than you lot. Sounds odd to say it, but you're right. And I bet Isara's watching over us all. All right. Let's go do this. Yeah, let's go put holes in those tanks. Yeah, then let's all come back here together. We'll get through this fight and see Galia free again on the other side. Your Grace. All troops have arrived at Nagyar and adopted combat positions. This time we'll crush their feeble army and see your grace to the doorstep of Randgris. Make it so. Silvaria, you have never failed me in your loyalties thus far. I exist because you exist, one aside the other. You go with my trust. Sir. Your Grace, you are too kind. I was a worthless wretch before you brought me into the light of Your Grace's company. Estranged from my parents before I could know them, thrown into that research facility. The object of heinous experiments and deprived of human contact. But Your Grace took me from that place, raised me to be a human before a Valkyria. Then awaken the powers within you. I betrayed the trust you placed in me. No, Grace. Once I learned that the Valkyria's powers stir only when the body faces death. I didn't hesitate a moment. I would gladly pierce this breast again, even now. When you granted me the shield and the lance from the ruins, 
I became Valkyria only for you. Never until then had I thought to feel pride in the Valkyrie's blood within me. Now is the time to show the world the power that blood holds. Go forth, Selvaria. Bring victory to my army. Yes, sir! at 015. Gallian forces approaching. Approximately two regiments. Silly fools. <laughs> now feel the power of the Valkyrie. Monster? That's a Valkyria's real power. We were able to occupy their main camp, but took massive losses. Alicia, we can't hold it. We're undermanned. We have to call for additional troops. Right. I'll go gather the rest of the squad. It can't be. We got them all. We don't have time to go search. We've got to get Alicia out of here. Come on, boss. Gotta move. Bring Alicia. Alicia! What do you mean we're deploying? Alicia's been shot, remember? An Imperial raiding party is approaching via a long path around eastern Nagyar. If they manage to hit us in the flank in the shape we're in now, things will get ugly. I wouldn't kill the other side to show a bit of consideration. The Nagyar battle hurt the militia just as badly as the rest of the Galian army. It pains me to send you back out there now. But I need you to stop that raid. The enemy is approaching a refugee camp housing evacuees from border towns like Brule. I'd like you to secure the safety of that camp in addition to halting the enemy. Um, may I ask how Alicia's condition is? We haven't seen her since she was hurt. Sergeant Melchiot is still unconscious. Still no signs of waking up. You'll have to make do without her this time around. Good luck, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Gunther, are you listening? Uh, yes. Yes, Captain. I know you're worried about her, but times like this are when the squad needs you most. Yes, Captain. I look forward to a favorable report. You're dismissed. Hey, boss. What's the plan? Right. Okay. Everybody, get yourselves ready. I'll do the same. Welkin's taking this pretty hard, isn't he? I just hope he doesn't let that gloom slow him down in the field.
Everyone, you're all safe now. We've turned back the Imperial Raid. Still, this place could turn into a combat zone soon. Evacuate as soon as you can. I guess that takes care of this operation. Lion's paw. Um, hey, Mr. Soldier. Thanks for saving our lives. No problem. Ooh, it's a lion's paw. That's my favorite flower. This girl from my orphanage told me about him. She liked him a lot, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and she was really good at cooking. I mean, soups, fish, even bread. Hmm, I wish I could eat her bread right now. Good things always happened when she baked. Lion's paw? And bread? Was her name Alicia Melkiot? Whoa! You know Alicia, mister? Yeah, we're good friends. Did you know she planted lion's paw seeds all around the orphanage and all over? When they bloomed, she'd jump up and down, cheering like crazy. She did, huh? I didn't know that. Um, hey! So do you know what lion's paw means in the language of flowers? The language of... No, what does it mean? It's supposed to mean unbending spirit. That's what Alicia told me the first day I was at the orphanage. I was crying a lot. Unbending spirit. She said lion's paw seeds are super light and get blowed all over, but they're real strong. Wherever they wind up, they just grow roots and turn into flowers there. I don't got a mom or dad anymore, but I'm gonna grow up into a flower just like that. I'm sure you will. So you should do like me, mister, and look at the lion's paws whenever you're feeling sad. I'll do that. Thank you. Sure. Oh, um, I gotta go now. See you later, mister. Okay, see you later. Alicia, thank you. Everyone, I... I'm sorry. You shouldn't all have to suffer for my weakness. You got that right. You had us worried there, boss. Yeah, you owe us one. Big time. Be ready to pay up on that one someday. <laughs> okay. Then you're feeling better, huh? Yeah, I am. Alicia... She cheered me up. Alicia did, sir? Yeah, from way back when. All this has helped me see just how important she really is to me. I've got to keep my head on straight so we'll be ready for her when she gets back. Right on. Cheers to that, boss. The squad's just not the same with the little missus gone. Okay, Sevens. Alicia's waiting for us. Let's head back home to her. said it missed her organs, but she's still out cold, huh? Come on, boss. There ain't nothing we can do for her cooped up in here. We really got our hands full, keeping those imps from crashing down on top of us. Yeah, you're right. We'll be back soon, Alicia. Lieutenant Gunther, might I have a word? 
Hmm? Sure, what's up? Well, it's... I'd feel more comfortable if we could talk alone. Right. I'll head on back to the squad, boss. Thanks, Largo. Get everyone ready to move out. I'm sorry to keep you. I know you've got a squad to run here. It's fine. What is it? Well, I removed the bullet from Alicia's body, but when I took a look at it, it... It's... The bullet wasn't of Imperial make. It was a Galleon sniper rifle round, sir. What? And not just a normal round, either. It's part of a new series, still in testing. So you're saying... You think Alicia was shot by someone on our side? I can't be completely sure, but... I believe it's a very real possibility. But... why? What would anyone stand to gain from shooting someone in their own camp? Ah, those incompetents! Why are they letting the Empire have their way? With all due respect, General, our army isn't equipped to fight a Valkyria. We ought to pull back for now, and think of a strategy to neutralize her safely. Ah, quiet! Quiet! We pull out now. How will I explain this to the higher-ups? Tomorrow at noon, we march on to the Empire again. Every soldier we have fights! General! Know your place, Barat. You are dismissed. <sighs> this is hopeless. We'll lose the whole army. Isn't there... What can we do? Valkyria. Another scion to the Valkyra? This world has no need for two. Get out!
The watershed battle on the Nagyar Plains ended in the victory of the Galian forces. It made military history not only with its ferocity, but with the duel that ended it. The Imperial Army then fell to retreat, while Galia's grasp on victory tightened. Alicia, are you all right? Woken. I'm... Uh, what happened? I can't remember. What did... I was shot, wasn't I? But here I am, alive and fully healed. And it's like... Everyone looks at me differently now. Like they're scared. Welkin, did... Has something happened to me? Tell me, please! Alicia... <laughs> 